Since Black Shark stopped making gaming phones, there are only two gaming phone brands remaining, Red Magic and Asus ROG. Red Magic launched their latest flagship gaming phone two months ago. We did a review of it and it's a great phone. In order to beat that only rival, ROG released this phone, the ROG 8 Pro. Compared to its predecessor or its competitor, the Red Magic 9 Pro, ROG 8 Pro looks more like a normal phone. Aside from a few logos and fonts, there's only a diagonal strap running across the back for very minimalistic design. Thanks to the removal of the air vents, dust and water resistance is also at the level of a normal flagship phone. But if you look closely, you will still spot some of the thoughts that ROG put into it for gamers. For example, the weight and thickness have been reduced quite a bit from the previous gen. The frame has changed from rounded to plain flat, which provides better grip. The side charging port and headphone jack are still there. And even though the camera module is more prominent, ROG has tried very hard to make it smaller and place it as close to the top as possible. This will make it much less likely that you will bump into this area during gaming. There aren't any RGB elements on the gaming phone, but the lighting effects are still there. Turn on enemy vision in the settings and the 341 mini LED beads on the back panel will light up. This allows you to see the various states of your phone on the back. Of course, you can also customize the display, which is pretty cool. When you want the ROG A Pro to be discreet, turn off the light and it's just like a regular phone. It seems like the idea behind the design of this year's ROG phone is to cut down on the fancy design and try to make it as accessible as possible to most people. The ROG A Pro's display panel is an E6 from Samsung, which can reach a maximum refresh rate of 165Hz. Unfortunately, the resolution isn't very high and is even a bit lower than Red Magic 9 Pro, which has a UDC. For the first time ever, the ROG phone has also gone from having a full screen to a punch hole display. The benefits are obvious, making it smaller for the same screen size. The downside is that you will have to put up with this whole 24-7. And the two front-facing speakers will have to change direction for the screen, so the sound quality definitely isn't as good as predecessor. We will put the speaker test at the end of the video so you can hear for yourself. One more bad news, it has a PW dimming at 480Hz, so before you buy the ROG A Pro, think about whether you can live with a less than perfect screen. Okay, since it's a gaming phone, where the ROG A Pro excels is of course gaming. There's not much to say about the benchmark, it's all top-notch of course, so I won't say much about them, you guys can pause to check it out. As we have expected, it can handle any game with ease. That straight frame rate curve tells everything. So this is when we have to focus on power consumption control. Compared to the Red Magic 9 Pro, it's also better on light load games like PUBG. Since the motherboard and SoC are in the middle of the phone, your hands would hardly feel the heat. Honestly, there really isn't much to say about gaming experience with ROG A Pro, because it really is a perfect gaming phone. The ROG A Pro's gaming experience is great, not only because of the excellent frame rate and low latency performance, but also because of a lot of great gaming-oriented features. Basic gaming assist features like air trigger, macro, and bypass charging are all available. One of the most important upgrades to the A Pro, I think, is this feature, Xsense, which utilizes AI to help you in various scenarios of the game that requires you to do things manually. Honestly, this feature is really helpful. Take Genshin Impact for example, it automatically picks up the items on the ground. Auto run, which means you don't need to use your left hand to control the arrow keys anymore, kind of like PUBG Mobile. Quick escape, when you're frozen or trapped in a bubble, the AI will help you to remove the debuff. Another feature I found very useful is the auto skip dialogue feature, which Genshin and Honkai Star Rail players really need. MiHoYo doesn't do it for you, ROG does. Thank you, ROG. Unfortunately, this feature is still in beta phase right now, so games other than Genshin will have to wait for a bit. For those geeky gamers, they even put some advanced options in the performance tuning settings. Here you can set the maximum temperature level, CPU and GPU frequency, and so on. This shows that the ROG A Pro might be the only phone in the world that can control these options without a root. Unsurprisingly, the ROG A Pro's camera system has been upgraded, so the bump in the lens module has also been upgraded. What I didn't expect was a gimbal stabilizer and teleport camera on a gaming phone. That's why we have to take a better look at how good the camera is. After a few days of use, I think the camera system is pretty close to that of a regular $450 phone. It mostly seems it performed well with the vibrant colors and good dynamic range. At least this camera system is much better than Red Magic 9 Pro's. And this main camera with the gimbal stabilizer does a good job in video stabilization. Even when I was running, the footage didn't shake a lot. 
The biggest drawback of the ROG A Pro, in my opinion, is its charging and the battery life. Still 65 watt of wireless charging power, a full charge takes 45 minutes. Keep in mind, its battery is only 5,500 million, which is 1,000 million less than the Red Magic 9 Pro. The reason for this smaller battery capacity is to fit the wireless charging coil in the phone. But for most gamers, including myself, should be thinking about the same thing. A bigger battery is much better than wireless charging. In this segment, there's no doubt that Red Magic wins. The ROG A Pro is aiming for a change, a lighter and thinner body, better camera, IP68, and wireless charging. It's all about making a gaming phone for more normal people out there. But the headphone jack, side charging port, and various gaming-oriented features also show that it cares about geeks and gamers too. I can't say whether this phone has gotten better or worse because it depends on whether you are the former or the later. Which do you think is the king of gaming phones, the ROG A Pro or the Red Magic 9 Pro? Feel free to give your thoughts in the comment section. And we're Pongusum China. We'll see you next time.